Welcome to Junkyards and Barn Finds, and this is Model Monday. All right, guys, a uh, couple of things. One, we have all our decals on. These tires are still such a pain in the ass. They came off. The tires are just too big for these rims. And I'll, I'll fix that later. Um, one of the things I talk about sometimes, I'll talk about again. This is Pledge. Revive it, okay? Um, I forget what it was called before there, but it's basically a, a, like a floor wax. And it's water-based and when you see or maybe not now but they have all kinds of products now and all you do with this easy to you take some pledge it's a wax and this bottle is two years old so you don't need much let me move this car back for a second. So you don't need much from here. Take a little red cup. Pour a little bit in. That's about it. That's all you need. Just enough to clear. That's it. That'll do the whole car. That little bit. So what this is like what was used to be for all the car shows and everything else. Model cars and everything. It's a floor wax. It's water based. You just take like this is the brush I always use. And you can put it on everything. You can put it on the tires. You can put it on the rubber. You can put it on the chrome. It seals the cars. It makes them shiny. It seals the decals in. Um, and the hardest thing with this stuff is once you've put it on to just let it uh, sit. It will dry clear. Um, unless you play with it, then it might get cloudy. It might get a little weird. But just don't play with it. And you can put it on the whole car. It can go over the the plastic glass. It can go over the decals. It can go over everything. It makes everything shiny. So you can put it in over the tires. Uh, I put it on all the model kits once they're done. And this is also, so I gotta play with that tire later. This is also what happens when you see models on boxes or in magazines and all by putting this on. This will keep, it won't yellow, it doesn't turn color. It will keep, instead of doing a clear coat over all this stuff, if you just do pledge on here, um, it doesn't make anything run. It's good on both water paste, craft paints, anything. It just basically it takes about, you know, 10 hours to dry totally. But you can deal with it uh, easily 
it'll dry and and be ready to touch and everything get tacky sh pretty shortly like in an hour or two so that's what this is you can buy something that's the same that might be like 14 dollars in a jar this size or a jar this size but at the end of the day um been using this for years a lot of other people have uh, actually i've been using this for decades so um yeah just put it on there and let it dry we'll come back we'll check this out uh, i'll fix the wheels and once it's not sticky anymore All right, guys, uh, this is the final video. We have the reveal right now. Three. All right, guys, we finally got done Lenny Pond's Malibu uh, stock car model. I don't know why this took me forever to do. Um, we put up part one like two months ago. Honestly, um, I just don't know why I could not get motivated to finish this. I like the model. I love Chevelle's. I like NASCAR. So there was really no reason why I could not get this done other than for some reason I just wasn't motivated. So a couple things with this video. The tire with this model kit, sorry. The tires are not wide enough for the rims and so uh they keep falling off they're just a little too big for these rims i don't uh, i could probably fix it if i got into it um but here's the thing you guys know when i'm working on a model kit i only do hold on all right guys we have the AMT Lenny Pond Malibu NASCAR based on his real car. Uh, we showed you some pictures of the real car. I don't know why this took me so long. It's been like I started this three months ago when I put part one up, when I did the painting of a lot of it. Um, here's the thing. This model kit, it's an old kit. Uh, I, I love the end result. Let me first just say I love the end result and actually um this actually fits way better than it's doing it right now but that's only because uh i put the wax on there i'll have to get it off but the hood which i can pull up here uh fits perfect on here or it, it did i had to take it off um let's see it should go right in there well, let's look at the end. So underneath, there's not a lot of detail. Let's get that straight up. There's not a lot of detail on this engine or underneath. It's an old kit. Uh, you'll see some other kits come up uh, that we're gonna do that have a lot more details underneath. Uh, but on the other hand too, in NASCAR back in the day, if you, like I said, if you go to RCR's headquarters, you'll see Richard Childress's actual Malibu race car. I've, I've, you can watch the video we, we visited there like two years ago and we showed his actual Malibu race car and there wasn't a lot to it. It's not like today. So, um, number one, like I said, I'm not a big guy on putting hinges in. This didn't come with hinges. So let's put the hood in and the hood has to lay flat. It did lay flat. Okay. Anyway, it lays flat. I just have to play with it a little bit. All right, so let's, this is how it's gonna sit on my shelf anyway. So a couple things. Yes, I took a Sharpie and I put three things there. I actually thought I did it correct, but eh, you know, tried something, didn't work. It's not the end of the world. It's my model. Uh, it's just how things go. Sometimes you think something's gonna work. It's not the end of the world, so I'm not worried about it. And the kit itself, I think it could have been done better. The wheels don't fit. There's a lot of fit issues with this. Um, you have to take the fan off because the fan won't fit with the radiator support. If you have the fan on, they have the radiator support 
it sits too high and doesn't go close enough. Um, the headers aren't really fitting too well for the exhaust system. But that being said, um, at the end of the day, it's a really cool model. It looks really good on a shelf. Uh, for those who are younger that want to play with it, it does roll. I don't play with mine at all. Uh, they just get put on display. But this one actually, when you're done, if you're a young kid or it's one of your first builds, because it is an easy build. Let me just put it. It's a very easy build. I don't know why it took me two months to build it. It wasn't two months. I started it. Then I had to put it aside for whatever reason. I just couldn't get into motivated to do it. So we did that truck. Uh, and then we came back to this. So now it's here. Uh, I think it looks great. It's covered with pledge. It's nice and shiny. Um, the, the car itself, there's some issues with fit of some of the parts. Um, like I said, you can't really make a Malibu from this, but you can make a pretty good um, representation of uh, Lenny Pond's actual Malibu from the 19, I believe it's a 74 season. So, because it wasn't the 73, you saw the real car earlier in the video. Um, I really actually like the way this looks. It's probably one of the coolest, sharpest um, cars that's going to be in my collection as far as NASCAR stuff. Here's the other fun. I did not think that this gold was going to, I thought it was going to be terrible with the, with the yellow. And I don't know what it looks like uh, on screen. Well, I will when I see this myself, but I think the panels really show, like, this really came out well. I kind of like it. The wheels are cool. The really deep dish wheels are cool. I just wish the tires, the tires are probably the weakest part of this whole build. I wish they would put better tires with, like, maybe the white, uh, white lettering on there, or at least include white Goodyear, um decals for them so as I said I put the stripes on there so I only build from the box so I don't put stuff from other cars on there so I, I would not recommend doing what I did there maybe I messed it up maybe I didn't I don't know I've seen enough race cars where they're not really straight or anything else maybe back maybe now everything's to complete spec but you go to a drag race or a dirt track anytime uh, now and you'll see people that just built their stuff because they're just trying to hold that the air pressure from pushing the window in so they could obviously be any kind of pieces of strip metal just strapped on there uh, I did do the black mark on here to show kind of like it's like black tape because a lot of them were, were either rubber or just taped they, they would tape on um, the padding <coughs> excuse me so I like the model kit it's it's not expensive. It's not an expensive kit. You'll see some kits. I think it only had like 75 parts, if that. So it is a part for a beginner. It is a kit for a beginner. Um, and I just kind of liked the way it ended up for the most part. So that's the kit. I hope you... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I hope you are enjoying uh, Model Monday. We'll be bringing you a couple more here. And um, this was the Lenny Pond Malibu from 1974. I don't think there's another uh, Malibu slash Chevelle 73 to 77 kit that's out there. So this may be one of the only chances to get it. You could paint it however you wanted, build it however you want. Maybe take the shell, put it on a better quality chassis. I don't know. But I like it. It's done. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Remember to like, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.